Matt, so the candidate applied, they had the phone interview. Now they are doing most probably these days either Zoom interview or depends, maybe face to face, but most probably it's a Zoom interview. So what tips you have in terms of preparation for the face to face interview and what questions they should ask at the end? One aspect is going to be very similar. If you want to, uh, if you've made it to the point where you're going to have an interview on Zoom, that's a good sign. It means that uh, you're going to be meeting with probably one or two or more people from that organization. You want to do your homework, make sure again that you understand about the job, but find out what you can about the individuals who are going to be conducting the interview and try to learn as much about their role in the organization, what, you, what they're posting about on social, uh, anything you can find out at all about their, their presence. If you can, and you have an appropriate camera, like in your laptop, or if you have a, an external webcam, try to take the call from a uh, desktop computer as opposed to just on your phone. Mm -hmm. If you have to take it on your phone, that's okay. That's not a, uh, necessarily an issue, but just try to find the best video setup that you can yeah. so that you can have the least likelihood of any sort of interference or disruption. You also want to have a distraction-free environment. And by that, I mean, also, you know, someplace that's private that you're not going to get walked in mm -hmm. on. You wouldn't want to take it from the middle of a of a busy uh, sort of location, yeah. but also that the background behind you isn't distracting. Mm -hmm. For example, I see sometimes that a candidate will take an interview sitting in front of a sunlit window and <laughs> I can't even see them but because the, the light's coming in from the, yeah. the backlighting. So try to find a, a suitable background where you can sort of fill the frame and they can mm -hmm. really see uh, and react to your, your presence in, in that way. And then depending on the nature of the job you're interviewing for, be prepared to share your screen so yeah. if you're doing, for example, if you're a sales engineer and you're going to do a software demo or you're yeah. a, a visual designer, and if that's the case, make sure you set up your desktop so that you've turned off your Slack notifications or calendar invites or anything mm -hmm. that could pop, potentially pop up. You want to make sure that you're ready to share your screen a moment's notice. Anything you know you're going to be sharing, just have it really quickly at your disposal to make the best use of the interviewer's time. You yeah. don't want any technical surprises yeah. at the last minute. Yeah. And we all know that you they will be asked behavior questions. Tell me about a time. So how can they prepare those questions? Yeah, if you don't know exactly what questions that you're going to be getting, you know, you're you just have to uh, have handy aspects from your past work yeah. history that are, you think are a great fit for the job. Yeah, I think that whenever you've gone through and you understand about the company, the type of people that you're going to be talking to, the nature of the of the job description itself then you want to be able to speak to those things as directly as you can. So you always want to be truthful, but really emphasize those points where you've demonstrated a capability mm -hmm. that's directly in line with what they're asking for. You're mm -hmm. trying to give them confidence that maybe I haven't done exactly that thing, but I've done something very similar. Yeah. Or that that's something that you're wanting to learn more about and you've kind of started that process. I was reading a book on X. I haven't had the chance to do that yet, mm -hmm. but I've started to make the investment to be able to do that when it's yeah. ready. That can still be fine. Yeah. And finally, what question they should ask at the end of the face-to-face -face or Zoom interview? So at the Zoom interview, you're starting to get towards the end, especially if it's a fully remote position. Mm -hmm. uh, it may even be your last round of interviews. So now at the end of that type of an interview, it's really important to reinforce how much, if you do think it's a fit for you in the job, how excited you are to at the prospect of working at that company, asking them again about next steps. What's the next step in order to uh, take the next step. Mm -hmm. And then I think finally, you know, asking about, you know, have I given you everything that you need in order to make the right decision? Yeah. And of course that right decision is to hire me, yeah. but when you're asking it and, and it's uh, in sales, it's known as a closing type closing, question. Yeah. I'm shocked yeah. at how many candidates don't actually ask for the job. Now you can't just come mm -hmm. out and say, Hey, can I have the job? But <laughs> you can, in a tactical way, basically do that. And you say, yeah. I'm interested in working here. I think I'm a great fit. Yeah. Here's yeah. why. Yeah. Is there anything else that I can tell you to help you yeah. make your decision? Yeah. Because I'm seeing that it's a great fit. And if you haven't heard something, I'd like to know it. So I have a, a chance to address yeah. it. Those are great tips, Matt. Thank you very much. And I hope the audience listening or watching will implement those tips in their next job search or in their next job interview. So again, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below and tune in tomorrow for another great question with Matt.